show starts in six minutes. Where once was an empty field, now stands the Chinook Center. But between the field and the mall, the site was home to a pearl of Alberta pop culture. The Chinook Drive-In premiered in 1949, and though it closed in 1958, it was immensely popular in its relatively brief Calgary run. Over the next 10 years, more and more drive-ins opened up around Calgary and the province of Alberta. It was all part of the culture of the automobile that was sweeping North America. With this developing love affair with the automobile, it was only natural that parkades, car washes, drive-in restaurants, and motels appeared along with outdoor movies. It was a post-war world, a new modern world. Technology was here to enjoy, and convenience was all the rage. Get your favorite taste treat at the snack bar now. Just four minutes till showtime. Alberta was letting its hair down, and enjoying a movie in the comfort of your own car was, well, pretty cool, literally. The drive-in struck a chord with Calgarians. With summer being so short in this part of Canada, folks were keen to grab summer fun with both hands. At the drive-in, there was something for everyone. Finally, everyone in the family could really enjoy a movie night out together. It was fun and affordable. And if what's on the screen isn't enough, some drive-ins even added playgrounds for the kids to keep family time, happy time. When the kids got back to the car, they were in a familiar place. So at the drive-in, it was okay to wear your PJs to the movies. Now, as much fun as it was for families, the drive-in was also great for a date. Mom, I'm going down to the drive-in for a root beer. Over the years, teens made the drive-in the place to be. Even if you didn't have money, chances are you could still enjoy the drive-in experience. Hey, I'm still in here. Guys, I'll just be next time. There were a number of things that made an evening at the movies in your own vehicle attractive, but none more than the food. Here's the way we quench our thirst, quench our thirst, quench our thirst. Here's the way we quench our thirst. Drive-ins offered their share of challenges. The speakers could be difficult to operate, and the sound took some getting used to. Mind you, some folks must have got quite comfortable, because more than a few driver windows were shattered. If you leave the theater, folks, please be careful. Don't let this happen to your car. Show starts in two minutes. Calgary's famous, if you don't like it, wait 10 minutes weather, served up its own set of problems. Heat waves and cold snaps were dealt with in the usual way. No longer will it be necessary to let rain spoil your fun. Now you can keep your windshield clear and dry with a drizzle guard. Simply attach it to your windshield, and in a jiffy you're enjoying the movie without constantly running your windshield wipers. A drizzle guard will save you gasoline and wear and tear on your battery. After the show is over, all you do is take off your drizzle guard, roll it up, and it's ready to be used again, just like an umbrella. So next time it rains, don't sizzle in a drizzle. Get yourself a drizzle guard and enjoy the show. Drizzle guards are on sale now at the concession center. Really heavy rain, along with the triple feature, brought out the tow trucks to extract more than a few cars from the mud. No matter what the elements threw at moviegoers during the heyday of the drive-in, the 1960s and early 70s, it wasn't going to dampen the spirit of outdoor moviegoers. There were seven drive-ins in Calgary alone, and business was booming. It wasn't until cities started to sprawl that the land these seasonal businesses occupied became more valuable than the businesses themselves. The last of the original drive-ins went dark in 1999. Please be sure to remove the speaker before you leave. 